it's Mariah with the VNMD. I'm back with another video about sending your letters to TMDSAS using Interfolio. I hope this helps. Please follow along. If you're new here, welcome. If you're old here, thanks for tuning back. Let's get to the video. Okay, this is the letters evaluation page, letters of evaluation page, where you upload your letters in TMDSAS. You can see there it says indicate how you will submit your letters of evaluation. You can either choose the HP committee packet, which is health professions packet. I don't have that and probably will never will. So I won't be doing a video about that, but I'm doing the individual option, meaning that my letter writers have individually written their letters and have sent them to Interfolio or could be sending them individually on their own to Texas TMDSES directly. Okay, let's see here. Below are letter placeholders you need to complete. Add new placeholders if prompted, or click the edit button to either fill out or edit placeholders. You will not be able to save this section until you have completed every letter placeholder. Yep, right there. What this is saying is, in order to continue the application, mind you, you don't have to have all your letters to submit the application, by the way. So that's probably why they do this. But in order to move on and complete the application, everything needs to be filled out. Whether they're done writing their letter, perhaps, or uh, they, they're done, they're just not in interfolio yet or whatever. You just need to create space for that person to, you know, have their letter sent, essentially. So you could list all of the people that are going to do it, all their names and who they are and everything. And it's up to you then, because you have that control to go in Interfolio and send it. So you're just creating that space. And then whenever it's ready in Interfolio, like they've submitted, then you can send it to TMDSAS. And the TMDSAS people will, like, fill it into that spot, essentially. So um, that's what I'm going to do real quick. And then I'll show y'all. Okay. Uh, names will be blurred out for people's safety and, you know, I don't know, reservations or whatever. I'm just going to blur them out. Um, just imagine I'm putting John Doe or whoever your letter writers are. Put them here. Okay. Uh, continue to fill this form out, you know, as instructed. It's not that hard to figure out. It's pretty straightforward, you know. Put them as who they are and what have you. How you know them or how they know you. Of course, you want to do the confidentiality rights. Basically, it's saying that... The letters that are being written, you have a right to look at them and you can reserve that right here. So like it says at the end, by selecting yes, you waive the right to access your letter. By selecting no, you retain your right to access this letter. So by clicking no, like you're denying this, you know, act or whatever. And you could have possibly seen the letter, right? You could have had some impact on the letter. And by seeing it, you know, maybe you can tell the letter writer what to put like it didn't actually come from them genuinely and so when they say it you know it weighs greater if you waive it then they know for sure you didn't have anything to do with what's in the letter you know like trying to make yourself sound good everything genuinely came from that person all right once you click submit or request or whatever it will pop up right here as you know the person and you're just going to keep doing this for the next few people And that's gonna be it add optional oh here we go guys add optional individual letter okay great yeah that optional letter is now available after you submit or make space or create the placeholders for the first three what you have to do at this point is fill it out the exact same way it's just an extra letter it's optional you don't have to put it if you don't want to it's up to me Give it your best shot, you know, fill it all in. I actually have seven, so, you know, this is what I chose. The, the people that I chose, well, you can't see them, but yeah, anyway. I chose to use that optional letter. Uh, this is me going over it again, just making sure everything's right. Again, you could change it because this is a part of the application that can be changed. And you could submit your application without all letters ready, but 
everything's ready and good to go. Yeah, that's that. And now we can save and continue. Boom. I'm not gonna click this. Oh my gosh. Why did y'all just do that to me? <laughs> we're just gonna, I'm just gonna go back and check. Yep, they're all there. Now we're gonna go over to Interfolio and send it from Interfolio. I'm only gonna send one just for the sake of this video. So I logged in, we wanna go find deliveries on the left side, click it. You can see in the past, everything I've sent in the, you know, what I've sent before. Um, yeah, just highlighting it there. It's like last cycle, I think. Click new delivery in the top right hand corner. Do not click confidential letter upload. Do not do that. We want to click find an opportunity or click in that cursor. And we wanna type TMDSAS, we search it, boom. And we would like to click 2023. That's the cycle we're applying for in this video, essentially. And that comes up and we just wanna click start delivery because we're doing electronic. <laughs> At this stage, you need to add documents. You will need to, um, yeah, just add the documents to this delivery. And so there's all my documents that have been uploaded or sent to Interfolio from my letter writers. I'll click the one I want and I'm just gonna add it to this delivery and there it is and we click continue and at this point all we have to do is review everything and maybe add some ids you know just to make sure everyone is um on board with who i am so i always add my social and my tmdsas id cool so it's been added and that's really it that's super easy it's all you have to do just reviewing everything and now we click submit and literally it will be a TMDSAS in the next 24 hours. So that is it y'all. That is all I have to show y'all. I hope that was helpful. I did want to mention one more thing. This whole service Interfolio, it does cost 60 bucks. $5.99 for the website, but it's 60 bucks. Um, when I got it, it was $48, but you know, prices go up, inflation, they stay tax and pre -meds. Just know this, like, we did a whole video about it. This whole process, applying to med school is wild. Anyway, so this service, if you want to use it, mind you, you don't have to, is $60. It gets you 50 deliveries, okay? Deliveries meaning how many times that they send a letter to wherever. They may send it to a grad program, to the med schools, to the med school application service, maybe to someone, maybe to yourself. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, just send in them, right? Um, <clears throat> or even scholarships. You could do it for that, too. Anything, really. 50 deliveries. Now, when I talked to them on the phone, they did say a good way to save on deliveries is to maybe batch your deliveries into one so like I showed you I only did one for the sake of the video but like I have I have six to seven letters in the video I think it said six but like now after the end of it all I have seven um, so I could have basically made all seven letter entries into AMCAS or four if it's TMDSAS um, but then and then sent the four from TMDS or sent the seven to AMCAS um, in one go essentially it's to save on deliveries so that's 11 yeah so that's 11 deliveries out of the 50 that I get versus two yeah I thought that'd be visually like significant to see this go to this but like it was still 11 to <laughs> anyway um, but yeah, you get what I'm saying so you could do that save on deliveries as much as you can and so make that $60 stretch yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I wanted to say. It's a great, great avenue or platform for pre-meds or graduate students. Anyone, really. It doesn't have to be pre-meds. You could just be looking for a job or just saving on anything. What am I saying? Um, networking. I don't know. You could just be a regular person and you may want to save your letters or whatever. Or you're in your resume or something. You can use this. So, it's not open. It's open to anyone. Even dental schools. Uh, PhD schools, PharmD schools, any schools, okay, any schools, yeah, and that's it, okay. Yep, and that is it for this video, you guys, thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful, let me know if you have questions, if y'all need anything, you got this, keep going, see you next time.